It's important to remember that your mindset plays a major key on your life path, all right? And you could be completely unaware of things that you're doing, things that you're saying, which is manifesting the same result over and over and over again. And now you're wondering why you feel stuck, all right? And in this video, we're gonna go over four things that you need to quit in order to attract what you want out of life. I have a great motivational message for you today, but you already know the deal. First, hit it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z, and welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It, where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming a reality, and you can feel as if it is already done, guys. It is already yours. Happy Friday. Welcome back to another video. I hope everybody had a great week, man. I hope you guys are ready to take on the weekend. Do not forget to work on yourselves, right? Continue to push through. Keep on keeping on no matter what you guys are going through, man. Listen, Coach Kev is here for you. I'm fired up today. Let's get right down to today's message. If you're feeling stuck, this is perfect for you because remember your mindset plays a major key on your life path, my family, and what you say out of your mouth. Okay. Remember life and death is in the power of the tongue. So you have to be mindful of what you are speaking out of your mouth. Okay. So make sure you guys apply this to your life. All right, make a change and continue to work on yourselves and be the greatest version of you, okay? Now, the first thing that you need to quit in order to attract what you want out of your life is you need to stop focusing on the problem, right? This is a big one. This is a really, really big one, right? Because when you guys have your spiritual awakening, when you're going through new changes, when you're going through trans transformation, right? You're gonna experience the setback. You're gonna experience the lashback. You're gonna experience the challenges, right? It's all for your growth. You are supposed to go through that. It is part of the process and you need to trust it, okay? But if you're always focusing on the issue, guys, come on. What do you think is gonna happen? Because what you're doing is you're creating this vibrational frequency that you need to live there. Remember, your subconscious mind doesn't mind if you're feeding it something positive or negative. All it's going to do is obey the command, okay? So even if you're focusing on something negative over and over and over and over and over again, you're gonna recreate these same scenarios over and over and over again. It may not be with the same person, it may not be in the same environment, but you're gonna come across the same lesson until you learned, until you have graduated. So stop focusing on the problem. And what you need to do is start being solution-based focused. How can you get around it? And I understand this is much easier said than done. Okay, I understand it could be hard. It's much easier to focus on the issue, to get aggravated, to get frustrated, right? It's a lot easier to do that rather than trying to come up with something when you don't see a path forward, when you have the fog in front of you and you don't really know where to go, okay? But once you can do this, once you start tapping into this and you start focusing on, okay, I'm not making enough money or I'm not doing this correctly, I need to try a different way, right? If you are doing something over and over and over again and you are receiving the same result, only a fool would believe that you could keep doing it over and over and over again to receive a different result. It doesn't work like that. You're gonna continue to receive the same result. So you need to go down a different path. You need to try something different, try something new, try it a different way, but stop being scared and stop focusing on the problem over and over and over again because now all your mind is telling you is that that's what you wanna be around because that's the electromagnetic field that you have created. So that is what you are going to continue to attract into your life is problems that it's going to cause you to stay stuck. Now, the second thing that you must quit in order to attract what you want out of your life is you need to stop focusing on the when and be in the now, guys. Be in the now, all right? When you're working on something extremely hard, and listen, it seems like nothing is moving. Ooh, someone needs this message today. I don't know who needs it, but someone needs this, okay? Because you're working on something. You're working on something hard. Maybe you're being obedient. You're going in the direction that God is calling you to go, okay? But you don't see traction. It seems like you're getting no support. It seems like there's no movement. Every time you post something, you get one view, two views, three likes here and there. It seems like there's no visibility into what you're doing. Listen, I'm telling you guys right now, you're being tested on the back end. Don't worry about the win. Be in the now, okay? Because all of your hard work will pay off. Everything that you are doing right now, you are setting up your future, right? Do you guys understand that? That's what you need to understand is that what you are doing now, all the little steps, 
all the actionable things that you guys are doing to take towards that dream, towards that goal, you are setting up your future. So don't ask, well, when is it gonna come? When is it gonna come? When is this gonna happen? Oh God, man, I've been praying on it. I've been doing this. I've been working on this for two years and it still hasn't manifested. It still hasn't showed up. What is going on? When you are doing that, you're creating another vibrational frequency of lack that you don't have it. You may not physically have it in your hands, but you need to already live that you already do. You need to already have it in spirit. You need to already live in that moment. You need to already live in those feelings and in those emotions. Be the version that you wanna be, be that version now, right? How do you see yourself in the future? Okay, do you see yourself becoming a business owner? Do you see yourself becoming a multi-millionaire, a family generational curse breaker, right? Do you see yourself be that version of yourself now? Start living like that now. Start taking those little tiny steps now and don't worry about the when is it gonna happen, but just be in the now because what you're doing now is you are creating, right? You're creating, you're shaking. Everything is shifting up for your favor. Okay, and it's going to happen for you simply because you're doing it now. The hard work will pay off, but you have to remember that great things take time. So don't always ask, well, where is it, man? When is it gonna happen? This is, this is I've been working on it for this long. All right, that means you have no patience. All right, that means that you're not, you're not willing to work hard enough. You're not willing to wait for it because great things take time. This is one thing that you really, really have to remember. And if you wanna speed up that process of the law of attraction, all right, if you really wanna manifest that thing that you want out of your life, there's certain things that you must stop doing in your life, certain things that you must stop saying in your life. You need to turn it all around, live in the now, stop worrying about the when, when is it gonna happen, okay? And just take it day by day, guys. And I promise you, okay, you're gonna find a lot more peace. You're gonna find yourselves more happier simply for doing this because now you're not overthinking, you're not overanalyzing, all right? You're not worried. You're not living in fear about the future, okay? You are excited, you are grateful for the present moment and right now. And what you guys are creating and what you're doing right now, like I said, it's gonna create something beautiful for the future. So just continue to keep doing what you're doing. Now, the third thing that you must quit in order to attract what you want out of life is you need to stop gossiping and talking about other people. Guys, this is a huge one, okay? Because listen, I know you guys are hurting, man. I know a lot of you guys out there are hurting, right? You have a lot of pain, your heart is broken, right? Because people have done you wrong, right? The narcissist, your family members, the, your coworkers, your so-called friends, people have completely undermined you, thrown you under the bus, done you guys wrong, broke your heart and broke your spirit down. But listen, that doesn't mean that you need to continue to walk around for the rest of your days talking about that individual. Right, you don't need to go talking to other people about them saying, well, they did this and they did that. How could they do this to me? Listen, when you're doing that, you're living in the past, all right? And all you're doing is bringing the past experience to the present moment, which is gonna recreate it for more future experiences. Ooh, come on now, all right? Pay very close, I'm gonna say that again, okay? All you're doing is living in the past. You're bringing it into the present. All right, and you're creating future experiences, which means you're gonna manifest the same thing over and over and over again. And what does that mean? It means life is gonna give you more people to complain about, more experiences to complain about, all right? And for more people to talk about and gossip about. And guess what? You're gonna stay right there, all right? This is why I tell you guys also, isolate to create, man. All right, you gotta isolate to create. You gotta go in hiding. You gotta hibernate. You gotta work on yourselves. All right, make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram, all right? Because I'm always trying to at least post some type of, you know, some motivational quotes, some daily um, inspiration for you guys, um, you know, just to keep moving, okay? And I just put something out on my Instagram earlier today um, about just spending one hour a day on yourself, all right? On yourself, the two most important people, right? You, the version right now, and the version of yourself that you wanna become. So you need to spend time for you, that's why I say going into the weekends, don't forget to work on yourselves. And then let me know how your weekend went. Let me know how's your mental health. Let me know. This is a community. We are all in here together. And when you guys can do that, now you're focusing on where you're trying to go. You're focusing on your goals. You're focusing on your passions. You're focusing on your talents. You're not worrying about gossiping or talking about other people or the people that hurt you. Remember, these people are watching you guys because they know they did you wrong. 
They know they did you wrong. And if you continue to talk about them, gossip to other people about them, where that's just gonna come right back full circle to them, I'm living rent free in their head. All they do is talk about me. That's not what you want, family. You want to do better. You wanna continue to keep on pressing forward, to continue to just keep going. Leave those people behind even the conversations with other people. And the fourth thing that you must quit in order to attract what you want out of life is you need to avoid at all cost negative self-talk, guys, all right? Listen, this is big, all right? Remember, life and death lies in the power of the tongue. Why do you think I say speak it into existence? Okay, because you're speaking life into what you want. You're speaking life into yourself, right? If you're always telling yourself, man, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid, man, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm not, I'm not good enough. I'm never gonna be able to make it. What do you think is gonna happen, right? You're lowering, now you're lowering your vibrational frequency to that point, okay? Where now you are going to only attract negative situations, which is gonna cause you to always have negative self-talk. You're always gonna be putting yourselves down because something is always gonna happen which is gonna cause you to say that. Avoid the negative self-talk. You need to lift yourselves up. Even if nobody else around you, in your inner circle, in your family, your friend group, even if nobody is lifting you up right now, you need to lift yourselves up, all right? I'm gonna lift you guys up because you get it all the time when you come around here on this channel. Listen, I love you guys to life and I want you guys to continue to prosper. I want you guys to continue to grow, continue to be the best version of you. If nobody has ever believed in you, man, Coach Kev does. I believe in you guys. So stop talking down on yourself. Speak into yourself, all right? And speak highly over your situations and highly about where you're trying to go in your life. You need to tell yourself in the middle of all the trials and tribulations that I have gone through, for all the people that told me no, that told me that I wasn't capable, I'm not gonna allow for their negative words to stick up here because that's exactly what the enemy wants. I'm not gonna allow for their negative words to keep me stuck right here because that's what the enemy wants. I'm not gonna allow for their words to pierce through me and to stick to me, right? Sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Don't let the words hurt you. Keep on keeping on and keep marching. But what you need to do is use your own words and lift yourself up. Remember, reprogram your subconscious mind. This is why you use I am affirmations. And this is extremely powerful because now you are reinforcing, okay, the way that you're feeling, what you're trying to do. You're reinforcing this over and over and over again. And when you put I am, right, in front of anything that you're saying, all right, the two most powerful words out there, man, I am, right, whatever it is, you will become as long as you are putting the action towards it. I am successful. Right, I am capable of getting this done. Whereas everybody else said, man, you're not capable, right? They wanted to live up here in your mind. Don't let that happen. Avoid the negative self-talk. Stop putting yourself down and lift yourselves up. All right, guys, so listen, I don't know who needed to hear this message today, but I hope it resonated with somebody. Take it into the weekend and don't forget to apply it to your lives. If it did resonate, you already know the deal. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right here. Be sure to share it out with somebody, a family or friend, somebody that might need to hear it. Your mindset plays a major, major key, guys. So be mindful of how you speak to yourself. Be mindful of what you're just speaking out in general. Be mindful of what you are doing. Also, okay, pay very, very close attention to that because you don't want to recreate and manifest the same results over and over and over again. And once you recognize this, you need to make a change. Don't be afraid to take a step foot out of that comfort zone because most of the time, once you do that, is when you're gonna step foot into something that was for you. Remember, you're not gonna find purpose in your comfort zone, right? You're not gonna find purpose there. You have to get uncomfortable to step foot into your purpose because you need to graduate. You need to become a better version of you. And that includes working on your mind, all right? So you guys reach out if you wanna talk. My website's gonna pop up on your screen, www.speakitseeitfeelit.com. I would love to hold a conversation with you guys, man. I've been having some amazing conversations with people, and I just wanna say that I absolutely love this community to life, man. You guys mean a lot, and I can't wait to grow with you. You guys are with me, and we're gonna continue to just be the best version of ourselves and help each other out, guys, okay? So also, we got 15% off running right now in the merch shop, so make sure you guys go and check that out up until December 10th. 15% uh, off your entire order, guys. So I appreciate all the support uh, for the merch as well. So you guys have a great weekend. Uh, like I said, turn on your bell notifications, and I'll see y'all soon in the next video. Peace.